Hello students, welcome to section 13. In this section, we'll be doing some examples related to the formula method to solve quadratic equations. So this example is from your page, uh, from your textbook, page number 40. It is example number 1. The example is m square minus 14m plus 13 is equals to 0. So as always, we compare this to our standard equation. Our standard equation is a a m square plus b m plus c is equals to 0. So our a value here is 1, my b value here is minus 14 and my c value here is 13. Now our formula or our formula here for m roots of m is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So here we're going, we are going to substitute all the values as they are. So m is equals to minus of minus 14. This is very important. Do not make any mistakes in this. This is minus of b but my b value already is minus 14 here my v value is already minus 14 here so this value becomes minus of minus 14 then plus minus under root minus 14 whole square minus 4 into my a value is 1 and my c value is 13 divided by 2 into the a value is 1 again so moving on to the next step we have m is equals to 14 plus minus under root 14 square is 196 and 4 into 13 is 52 divided by 2 into 1 is 2. This implies m is equals to 14 plus minus under root 144 divided by 2. So this implies m is equals to 14 under root 144 is equals to 12. This is plus minus 12 divided by 2. Therefore, m is equals to 14 plus 12 divided by 2 or m is equals to 14 minus 12 divided by 2 which implies m is equals to either 13 or m is equals to or m is equals to plus 1. So this is my solution for this particular question. Now all we need to pay attention is to the signs after we compare, uh, compare the normal quadratic equation from the question to the uh, standard quadratic equation. Now moving on to our next example. So my next example is example number 3 again from page number 40. Here we have x square minus 2x minus 3 is equals to 0. Now I will be comparing this to my standard equation ax square a, ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So this implies a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 2 and c is equals to minus 3. Therefore, my formula method, I have x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now here, I have x is equals to minus of minus 2 plus minus under root minus 2 whole square minus 4 into 1 into, now the value of c here is minus 3. So we need to make sure that is accounted for this is complete divided by 2 into 1. So therefore, I have x is equals to 2 plus minus under root 4. Now 4 into 3 into uh, here we have minus 4 into minus 3 which becomes plus 12. So here I have 4 plus 12 divided by 2 again. So this implies 
x is equals to 2 plus minus under root 16 divided by 2 and under root 16 is equals to 4 so here I have 2 plus minus 4 divided by 2 which implies x is equals to 2 plus 4 divided by 2 or x is equals to 2 minus 4 divided by 2 which gives me the solutions as x is equals to 3 or x is equals to minus 1. Now, we will be moving on to one last question in which we will see a different kind of standard, uh, a different kind of equation and when we compare it to our standard equation, we will understand how to solve those given on the base of the, given on the values in the textbook so now this is an example from our textbook page number page number 42 or rather 43 here we have 25 x square plus 30 x plus 9 is equals to 0 so when i compare this to my standard equation i have here a b c this is a x square plus b x plus c is equals to 0 now in this case my a value is 25 my b value is 30 and my c value is 9 so x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4 a c complete divided by 2 a so I have x is equals to minus 30 plus minus under root 30 whole square minus 4 into 9 into 25. My c value is 9 and my a value is 25. And in the denominator I have 2 into 25. So x is equals to minus 30 plus minus under root 30 square is 900. Now there is one trick, one trick to know uh, squares of uh, numbers with a digit zero in them. So let's say I have a number 40. So and I have to square this number. We all know that 4 square is equals to 16. Now if 4 square is equals to 16 and 4 square is equals to or rather we know that 4 square is equals to 16 and we also know that 10 square 10 square is equals to 100 but 40 is equals to 4 into 10 so if i am going to square if i am going to square 40 if i am going to square 40 that means i have to also square 4 and 10 so therefore 40 square is equals to what is the value of 4 square this is 16 and the value of 10 square is 100 so the answer is 1600 so for 30 square I use the similar approach and I get the answer as 900 so I have 900 minus 4 into 25 into 9 if we solve this we will get a value 900 again This is 900 complete divided by 2 uh, into 25 but so this implies x is equals to minus 30 plus minus under root 0 divided by 50 under root 0 is equals to 0 therefore x is equals to minus 3 by 5 or x is equals to minus 3 by 5 in this case x is minus 3 by 5 so there is only one solution but we can write we can say that both the roots are equal now we are going to take one more example where we understand how we cannot get the correct answers so we're going to take one example outside from our textbook so let's say i have x square plus 2x plus 9 is equals to 0 so comparing it to standard form I have a x square I 
I have ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So a is equals to 1, b is equals to 2, and c is equals to 9. So if I use formula method, I have x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now I'll be substituting the values. So I have x is equals to minus 2 plus minus under root 2 square minus 4 into 1 into 9 divided by 2 into 1. Now in the next step I get x is equals to minus 2 plus minus under root 4 minus 4 into 9 is 36. This is 36 divided by 2. Now if you solve this further ahead I get x is equals to minus 2 plus minus under root minus 32 divided by 2. So that means I have a negative side negative sign inside the square root but as we know there is no real number whose square root can be or, or there is no real number whose square root can be uh, done if it is negative inside the square root that means the solution that we are going to get because of this particular value is not going to be real therefore we can write that because minus under root 32 is not a real number for this equation we don't have the roots which are real So, as under root minus 32 is not a real number, for this equation, we don't have the roots which are real. So, in the next lecture, we will be seeing some questions from our practice set 2.4. And then, after our practice set 2.4, we will be looking at why these uh, numbers come as uh, minus negative inside the square root and how do we deal with them. This section will end now. Thank you.